About a week ago, I made a video talking about the top 10 things I was most interested in watching this preseason, and number one on that list was the 49ers quarterback situation. If we see Purdy at all, he would be in there, uh, but if not, then Trey Lance is still number one on the list of what I would just, I want to see what he can do. I want to see, again, when have we ever seen this scenario of a team that has Super Bowl aspirations? We also don't know exactly who the quarterback's going to be. That's just such a fascinating scenario. And so I was very interested in seeing how this was going to go. Um, and as a whole, uh, there was some good and there was some bad from Trey Lance. So let's just talk about all of it. So first, this play. Okay, a classic Kyle Shanahan scheme play, right? Run to play action. It's a zone coverage you're going up against. Have a receiver running over the middle. Hopefully, linebackers get out of position. You can hit him over the middle and pick up some yards. Watch as Trey Lance, you know, runs this play action. He looks up and, you know, looks down the field doesn't love what he sees. Uh, we can't see it. We can only see the broadcast footage. Uh, but, you know, he doesn't love what he sees down the field. So, okay, what do you do if you don't love what you see down the field? Get to your next progression. Get You know, throw something underneath. That's what Trey Lance does here, which again, for younger quarterbacks, they don't always do this stuff. And Lance is obviously such a weird guy in terms of how do you evaluate him? Do you treat him as like a rookie or second year quarterback because he's barely, you know, played? Uh, or do you say, hey, he's, you know, he was, it's been three years now since he's been drafted. He should be treated as such. I don't know. And to be clear, this is his third year. That uh, that's, that's 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 what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, I mean, you could argue either way. If you think that he should be treated as a rookie quarterback, you'd say this is a very impressive play from a young player. If you think he should be treated as a third year quarterback, you're probably saying this is expected at this point. But uh, either way, it's good to see. Although going over to this play, is it good to see? This is basically the same thing. It's going to be zone coverage. However, this time the camera uh, operator helping us out a little by starting this a little bit further deep. Although they're going to zo zoom in. I don't know why. Let us see the safeties. I don't need to see the offensive linemen that close up. I like seeing them, sure. But, you know, you can, you can zoom it out a little. But anyway, you see that Lance, once again, same thing, right? Runs the play action, looks down the field. This time, though, this is the throw that Lance should make. It just is. He doesn't have to make it right this second. He has a little bit of time in the pocket, but Lance should eventually make the throw there. He could do it right now because, again, the linebacker who's kind of clogging up that throwing lane is very much, uh, you know, he's completely turned towards, uh, towards the receiver. He can't see the uh, quarterback at all, so you could throw it by him, and he wouldn't be able to uh, adjust to it. If you see, uh, you know, the name of a linebacker, you should throw it in that direction typically. That's what they say. But Lance instead just, again, goes back and throws a check down, and this time he even misses the throw. Could have gained at least a couple yards had he hit it. Again, a little bit tough because he had to throw it over the edge rusher. But but still, uh, that's something that you would have liked to see him really. I mean, that should have been a first down on that play, and instead you got no yards. That's a disappointing play. And again, it's something where, okay, if you're missing some throws here and there, you can live with it for a young quarterback. But when you already have Brock Purdy, who that's who Lance is going up against, he has to play better than Brock Purdy to make sure that he gets this job long term. You can't be making these mistakes. And I, I'm sure Shanahan saw that play and said, yeah, Brock Purdy, he, he, he hits that one. The flip side is Brock Purdy probably doesn't hit this one where what's going to happen here is it is a zone coverage play. Have a receiver trying to get just, just running right into a, uh, you know, uh, someone's zone in coverage probably isn't going to get open, right? Well, yeah, Lance takes a snap, looks in that direction. It's not open, but this play is not over. This is the value of Lance, and part of what I think Shanahan liked about Lance and why he drafted him was when plays didn't work within the scheme, Lance can do something to help him out. One, uh, you know, not every Shanahan play call does work, although it sometimes feels that way. Uh, not everyone does. So having a guy who can bail out Shanahan sometimes is fun. And watch what Lance is going to do. Where he's running in, the linebacker sees this and says, oh, well, I can't just let Lance run all over me. The linebacker steps in, Lance throws over him, and they're able to pick up a first down right there. That's a play that I don't know if Brock Purdy's making, but Lance can, and this is the value, is Lance might not quite be as good at the game management stuff, but he does add value in other ways. And, you know, heading over here, uh, I won't show every play uh, of the, like, like this, but I'll show, you know, uh, one or two of the him being able to just, again, run the, uh, manage the game, right? He can still do it effectively. I'm not saying he was a disaster. Right? I thought he was fine at it. Uh, so, something like this, it's zone coverage. You have a tight end running out to the flat on the top of the screen. Watch how Trey Lance takes the snap. He, you know, starts to fire in that direction. There's a window, but again, 
if you just make this throw, but you sort of force the tight end to move too far back, the issue is there's a defender who could run over and make a tackle, and maybe you don't pick up this first down here on second down and six. Throwing the ball in a position to where the tight end can continue running towards the top of the screen is crucial here by Lance. And as you see, that's exactly what Lance does. He got rid of the ball quickly, threw it to where he was supposed to do a good game management play from Lance, and there were plenty of those. That's not just one play in isolation that I found. No, this was something that was happening. So again, I don't, I don't want to make it seem like he was a disaster game manager or, or anything like that. I would say he was good, but he wasn't perfect. He made some mistakes as well. And also, I mean, I got to talk about this one. This is the one that I saw uh, getting, you know, uh, I was actually uh, out doing stuff uh, the day of the game. So I couldn't, that's why I didn't make the video live and making it after the fact. Uh, but this is the one that, you know, when I checked my phone and on social media stuff, this is the one that I kept seeing, uh, which was a very fun one. So Lance is going to take the snap right here, runs a play action, looks down the field, sees something that seems interesting, but I think what he's... I think what happened here is, again, it's very blurry. I'm sorry. This is the best I can do. Uh, trust me, I actually paused it when it was the least blurry, if that seems possible. Uh, but the smaller circle, that has a Raiders player with the ball, you know, touching the ball right now. So he was obviously trying to hit the other uh, circle where there's a 49ers player and then a Raiders player a little bit underneath as there was a bit of a window. I think he just didn't see the defender, and this is kind of an issue. Again, no matter how long you quote unquote been in the league, if you haven't been playing as much, there are still going to be times when you don't realize which throws you can make and which throws you can't make. You still have to have learning experiences, uh, especially for someone who, like Lance, was you know he was a very raw player coming out of college. I mean, we we felt like he needed playing time pretty desperately. This pass ends up getting batted up for an inter for a touchdown, uh, which is uh, definitely, you know, uh, exactly how you drew it up, right? Throw it right to the defender to try and get a touchdown out of it. I'm showing the other angle now so you can see it a little better. Uh, just a completely bizarre way to throw a touchdown, but obviously that's not what Lance was trying to do and realistically should have been intercepted. Uh, so to me, I, you know, I view that as a negative play. I don't view that as a touchdown. I don't look at just the results. I look at the... Uh, you know, what should have happened on that play uh, is how I evaluate this stuff. And, you know, uh, I, I also think you could make a joke here if you wanted by saying that Trey Lance, some of his issues in the past have been he throws too many fastballs, which uh, sometimes makes it harder for his receivers to make the catch and results in more drops. Uh, well, hey, I guess the benefit of that is if you throw it fast enough, it's harder to intercept it as well. So there you go. Uh, maybe that's the strategy. I don't think it is. Um, so for Lance, how did he perform? I thought he was fine. I didn't think this was a disaster. Made a couple mistakes, made some good plays as well. But the reality is, in my opinion, if Brock Purdy is ready to go week one, I don't see how you look at this and say Trey Lance is the guy. I don't see how you look at this and say he was good enough to surpass the guy who played in the NFC Championship game, and if he stayed healthy in that game, might have played in the Super Bowl. I just don't see how Lance has shown anything as of this point to show that he should be the guy instead, but it could change. For sure, it could change if he, you know, balls out these next couple of weeks, but as of right now, that's just kind of how I view it. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on Trey Lance uh, and this whole situation? Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.